Okay, so our last speaker today is Giulio Codoni. And yeah, the screen is yours. Yes, thank you very much for the invitation. Thanks everyone for attending. It's quite hard with this online conference and uh, I look forward to uh, see, see you again on, uh, in person during, uh, on person during a real conference. So I'm gonna speak about a joint work with Luca Tassina and Filippo Viviani. It's a work in progress, so I, we hope to post on the archive the, the paper at some point in the forthcoming months. And uh, okay, and the base field, we work on a base field of characteristic zero, algebraically closed. So first uh, thing, moduli space of case B variety. So uh, we take N, okay, just a second. Okay, here we go. M to be the moduli of KSB variety with uh, dimension equal to N, volume as usual, V. This is a DM stack, the linear Manfred stack with, uh, with, uh, with projective core space, so projective course space. And we can study the line bundle on this stack. There are a few line bundle, which, is very, which are very natural. So we can look at the universal family, pi x to m. And we can look at the CM line bundle, lambda CM, which is uh, uh, the push forward as a cycle, a cycle push forward of k x over m to the power n plus one. And uh, okay, and uh, very good. Uh, okay, this is ample. This is ample. Is a result of 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 uh, Patak Falvi, Patak Falvi, and uh, and Shu. And it's a very famous line bundle. It's in connection with case stability, Kerenstein kind of metric, and what's not. And then we can study, we can look at the, we can, okay, this is a line bundle. Then we can look at EQ, which is the, the push forward as a shift now of OX, Q, K, X over M, the shift push forward. And the lambda Q class to be its determinant, maybe derive it, uh, derive it push forward if needed. Okay. And this guy are NEF, both are NEF, these two guys. This is a result by Fujino. And these are, this is a very deep result. So now it's where you use stability, case B stability, and it's use Hodge theory, and it's a very delicate result. And then we pair, uh, we can, um, we can pair uh, this result of Fujino plus uh, uh, the collar, collar uh, lemma, collar ampleness lemma, ampleness lemma. And we get that, uh, and we get that uh, lambda Q is ample, but 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 ample but but here for Q very big, and this uh, Q is not effective. I mean, if you go through the proof, it's almost impossible to compute the first Q such that this is ample. So for low Q, this bundle is just an F. It might be on the boundary of the F core, but for Q very big, you get to the inside of the F core. Now the theorem I want to state to theorem to start with. That joint uh, with, uh, with uh, Luca Tassina and Filippo Viviani. We take, uh, we take uh, so theorem one, result one is this. We take Q an integer, a positive integer, such that K F times Q is, uh, is Cartier. So recall that this bundle is just, uh, is just uh, uh, Bail, this divisor. Bail and Q Cartier is Cartier for all f in m, or we take either this, or we ask that phi of q k f is genetically finite. This uh, makes sense also if, if, uh, if k f is just, uh, is just a bail. This for every f again. Then if you have one of these two hypotheses, uh, we get that uh, uh, the result is that Q to the power M plus one times lambda CM minus lambda Q is NEF.
So that's result number one. Result number two. Okay, I'll go to the next page for result number two. Here I add the page. Roberto is waiting to get in. Let me admit him, my friend of mine. Hi, Roberto. Welcome. Result number two is this. We take again a Q. Q and we ask that, that QKF is Cartier for all F. And then uh, for F, we take, uh, then we take, uh, you have to work a bit more, we take new denormalization. Then we write uh, F hat as the union of irreducible component. We take new I as the restriction of new to F I. And we take uh, W, a real number with W greater or equal than the volume of new i upper star of k f, of course, for all i and all f. And then a similar result, q m plus one times lambda cm minus, now the constant is uh, below, I have w times q to the n plus n, above I have two w q to the n, times lambda q, this gadget is, uh, is left. Okay. So this is the first result. So what is the picture behind it? Of the goal, if you prefer? The goal be be behind these two results, of this, you know, this sort of, of study is this, that uh, we can look at t to be the span of, of lambda cm and this lambda q for all q, q is in n, inside the neuron severity group of omega q of the model space. So we call t as tautological subspace. And then we want to, to, describe, to describe the ample cone of m intersecting. So this space is much bigger than this T in general. This T is smaller, but it's so more sensible to look at it. We want to study the ample cone of M because we want to do it. And so we intersect with T and land the Choma for lamb bundle sit in the interior of this ample cone. What we are doing is we are describing, describing some sort of bolts around it. We are describing how big is the ample cone around the Choma for lamb bundle, intersect, but all, always intersected with the space T. So let me sketch the case of curve where everything is well known. In the case of curves, the dimension of T is just two. And uh, lambda one is not ample. So as I said uh, before, lambda Q is ample for Q very big, but for, Q lo for low values of Q, it might not be ample. In this case, uh, lambda one is not ample. And then, uh, and then the, the other results, the, the above results, which in the case of curves were already well known, the above results give the other wall, the other wall. The above result uh, for, for, it's enough to look at Q equal one, for Q equal one. So the ample, so this T is a plane. The ample cone has just two walls in this plane. One wall is given by this lambda class. The other wall is given by the above inequalities. You can pick one of both of them, give you the same, uh, the same ray for Q equal one. And so the question, if you prefer, if you want, the question is, 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 is for, for, for low Q. are this lambda q and the above result enough to describe, to describe, to describe what? I have to change line, 
describe uh, uh, amp of pawn of n intersect. Okay, so this is the first set of result. Any questions so far? And with these online things, I don't know what you are doing, guys. So I can wait a second to see. If you want, I can ask uh, any yeah, questions can posted in the chat. Ah, yes, please. I don't see the chat, actually. There's, there's no question at the moment. But if anything comes up, I'll interrupt. Okay, thank you. I cannot see the chat now, so please. OK, so these were the case B case. Now we go to the final case. Final case, we want to do something similar, but the, the, the situation is more complicated and less satisfactory, but let's do it. So now M is the stack of K semi-stable Fano. So as usual, the dimension is equal to N, the volume is equal to V, and, uh, and this is an earthing stack of finite type. Okay, then we can define lambda CM here. Is 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 uh, what's not is uh, is um, minus. Oh, sorry, I had the universal family as usual, and it's more or less the same definition as before. Minus the push forward of k x over m over m plus one. This is lambda CM. So this one is NEF. This is a result of myself and Shul Patak Falbi and Shu and Zhuang. So actually, Shu discussed this result uh, during his talk the first day of the conference. And then uh, we have also lambda Q as well. Lambda Q are just the determinant of the push forward of OX minus Q K X over M. But now the first twist in the plot is that this guy are not left. This guy are not left, and uh, okay, but still we can do something. But we have to look at uh, MU. It's an open substack of M. So are they uniformly stable variety? And then we can look at delta bar the minimum of the stability section. This, I think, was also discussed by Shu and other people. And this is strictly greater than one. So this tells you how stable are the variety in MU, how oh, ma oh, much stable, how oh, much, because it's a quantitative version of stability somehow. And uh, OK, now I put L to be um, what minus kx over t over m plus delta bar divided by delta bar minus one, which makes sense as delta bar is at least one, volume at m plus one, and then the pullback of lambda cm. Okay, and now I take q such that uh, uh, q. Kf is 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 k, and uh, and uh, what's not, or or okay. Let me put this way. Okay, we have more result, but let me just take this to be more to make it shorter. Uh, then the nef bundle is uh, q n minus one. It's not nef actually. I look at this bundle on the moduli space. A cycle push forward minus the determinant of not the lambda classes but of this gadget QL. I take this bundle, I intersect it with T, and this is at least zero for T a curve in M which intersects M non trivially. So we don't have any nefness, uh, any nefness result, 
but we have just uh, we have just this which is close to nefness if t is not in mu so it's all outside the mu we might try to do something similar but something similar is false so we might say something and discuss it a bit later if i have time but very very little is true as far as i understand not anything satisfactory and maybe before concluding this model apart, a word on, on the on the course space. So M as a course space, a good model space. So this is work of many people. I will not list all of them, sorry, but Mo Kenyang Shu is among the people who contributed the most to this and also explained during his talk on the story on the thing. And but the issue is now that lambda Q does not descend does not descend so there is no hope to have similar result i mean we, can, we don't even have uh, the ingredients because lambda q is not a bundle on m on, on straight m it's just on the stack what is true is that uh, what is true again is that you can look at the open subset mu here, this is currently MU because it's a stack. It goes to straight MU, which is the course space. This is open in here. This one is just DM. So DM stack, not acting. And here, lambda Q descends. And if you have uh, proper subspaces, if you have proper subspaces, then you get convenient, uh, you get convenient NF line bundles. But somehow, as, as Chen Yang was discussing, this uh, MU is not uh, proper. I mean, there are, in most examples, this MU is not the proper subspace, so you cannot do much. There could be examples where this MU is proper, and in that case, you, you do get some uh, bundles which are NF, so these results apply, but in general, this MU is not proper. So this was the moduli part, the moduli part. Questions, comments, regrets? No. Nothing in the so chat. Nothing Everyone's happy. very happy. Ah, oh, so I'm happy too. Very good, very good. Very good, I'm happy you're happy. As the result would say. And now let's go to slope inequalities. So all the above results follow from some slope inequalities plus some work, of course. So now I will list a series of results which are a bit different from this one, but somehow these two results follow from, uh, from the slope inequalities and the above part actually motivate this second one. So the setup is the following. You have F from X to T. Now uh, with the standard assumption, so X, T are, are normal variety. Normal is important here. Projective, F lower star of OX is OT. The dimension of X is, 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 is M plus one. The dimension of T is just one, so T is a smooth projective curve. And then also we need F to be a generic fiber. So that's a setup. Now, what is a slope inequality? I have to add a page. So what is a slope inequality? So, so you have, a, so it's a result of this shape. So you have some assumption, some more assumption, which are usually, uh, are usually like a positivity assumption or a stability assumption. And then, uh, and then, uh, okay, you put these results. And then uh, what you have is something like that L to the power N plus one is greater or equal than C times the degree of F lower star of O X L, where C is a positive sensible constant. Constant. So why, first, why should you hope something like this and why should you look for it? So why? 
I mean, there are many versions of these loop inequalities, but first of all, what, what, first reason is many people working on it. Worked on it, so in a few minutes, I will give credits to some of them, explain a bit their results, but before doing this, maybe there is Lydia I saw in the public. Lydia Stoppino, are you there? We don't know if Lydia I'm is there, here, but yes. So she has been doing a lot of great papers and we were a lot inspired by her work. So we read uh, all of them and let me thank her for her work. So that's the first reason. Second reason is so my reason somehow is because, uh, because there is a moduli space. There is a moduli space with an amp of corn. With an amp of corn. So this lambda, this guy is more or less the Chaman for Lamb bundle. So this is more or less the Chaman for Lamb bundle. So this guy sits in the middle of the amp of cone, in the center somehow. Oh, anyway, it's a bit far away from the border of the amp of cone. So it's not inequality is because, uh, because it's in the middle, so you should have something like this. I mean, of course, it's not a um, precise statement, but somehow it's, it's, it's my motivation. And also, why stability? Because stability is needed to have an amp of cone, to have a moduli space. So you need something which allow you to construct a moduli space. And once your assumptions are the kind of assumption you, you would use to construct a moduli space, you are meant to get something like this uh, in order to, 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 to describe the amp of cone. Or you can get something like this because the amp of cone is there to help you somehow. So these are the motivation. So with Luca and Filippo, we got a lot of inequalities like this with many different assumptions with all different flavors. So let me list some of the results we got, and then I will also say some of the results people got before us. But somehow there are many inequalities, so it's also hard to decide which one to mention. So first the selection of our results. So theorem. Okay, now before, okay, sorry. No, before saying the theorem, let me say that, 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 that we, let me put the key key positivity assumption. So I will not take any stability assumption now and discuss stability later. Let me just do positivity now. This bundle is NEF. So I will assume from now on that this bundle is NEF. You also re repeat it, recall it because it's very important. But somehow let me put uh, among all the assumptions you will see later, this one is the, is the most important now. So theorem one. So the most important assumption, LNF, then some, some more or less important assumption, but L, L itself is NEF. And then result one, if, if, if uh, phi L, uh, okay, sorry. L, uh, maybe should I say before, I forgot it to say before, maybe I'll say it, I don't know, here, no, whatever, here, the only space is left. L is, 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 is a veil divisor, it's veil Q Cartier. Sorry for the mess, there's only space left. So, on X, uh, Q Cartier on X. So, phi, um, so if phi of L F is, is, is generically finite, or, or LF is, is Cartier and big. If you have one of these two, then you get that LN plus one is greater or equal than, than, uh, than the degree. Two, if phi of LF is, is generically finite, so you can end. So this is an assumption on L, and then I have to make an assumption on F on the fiber. LF is L restricted to the fiber. So here I'm assuming something about L restricted to the fiber. Now let me assume something also on the fiber. Dim of F is at least two, and the Kodaira dimension of F is non-negative, or dim of F is one, 
and LF is special. And then we recall at the end the definition of special as I will need it in a proof, which I hope to give, a sketch of a proof. LM plus one is at least two times the degree. So we get something a bit better. So somehow case one and two, this assumption is equal to this one. But here we furthermore assume uh, this on the fibers. And we gain an extra uh, two. So this was the first result I wanted to present. The second result I want to present, but we have, we have also more, but somehow it's get boring at some point. So of course, OXL is NEF. Then we ask L to be uh, F NEF, which is a bit less. Then we ask uh, L restricted on the fiber to be Cartier. Big, globally generated, Cartier, comma, globally generated, comma, and big. So these two assumptions are global on X. This one, these three are on the lamp bundle L restricted to the fiber F. And then once you have all of these, what you get are two things. The standard one is this, that Lm plus one is at least two times the volume on the fiber, Lf to the N divided by the volume plus N times the degree. And then a second result, and I'll go to the next page. So oh, show you one. Let's admit it. The second result is this. Is a bit the inequality is a bit stronger. Is L n plus one at least four times? So we double it as before. Also before we double the from one to two. Now we go from one to four. From from two to four. But here it gets a bit worse, plus 2n, always time the degree of f lower star of x l. But the second one under the assumption here that uh, the dimension of f is at least uh, 2, and the Kodaira dimension is uh, at least 0, or dimension of f is at least 1, and lf is special. So this, the first inequality is always true uh, under the above assumption. If we furthermore assume, assume these, uh, these facts about the geometry of F, we get this one, which is a bit stronger. I mean, here is a bit lower, but here you get a four instead of two. So these are the results. Okay. These are the results. We are not the first, as I said before, to prove a similar results. If you go into the literature, you will find tons of equations like this, tons of inequality like this. But let me mention some of them. So Xiao was the first one in the 87, I think. Did the case n equal to one and l equal to chi x. But somehow it's not important just the, 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 the great, but also let me say a great proof. Somehow the ideas he gave in the proof, they were really seminal idea and breakthrough and uh, you look at the other sigma filtration and somehow it's really, I mean, it's really important this paper, not just for the result, but for the ideas introduced. Then we get uh, Onno, which uh, covered the case N equal to two, again, L K X over T and something more and more assumption, a little bit, there are some variation. Then another important series of papers is by you and, and, and Zhang. So they are always in the case n equal to two, L is equal to kx over t. The hypothesis are a bit better, we're not going to the detail, but the only things I want to say that here they do positive characteristics. So here they really do something different because they go to the positive characteristic side and they compute the Frobenius. So this is completely different from what we have been doing. And then there are the results of, of, of uh, Cornalba Harris, which was again 87. 
and then a lo long series of people with Barisha and Lydia. So we'll not mention all the result. Here you see it. So somehow Cornell Berries, the main things they do is they prove the same result as Xiao, but with a completely different proof. Because they remarked that uh, that um, somehow here the idea is not quite this. So to make a very long and complicated story very easy, in this setup, the slope inequalities, these are equivalent to some Hilbert Manford weight, which is it's not quite this, but somehow to simplify to oversimplify the story is this. So Cornell Beharis, they have a quite general inequality, but always with, with the assumption that the fibers are GAT stable. And this recover, of course, the result of Xiao, as in this case, the fiber are GAT stable. And many of the Barger Stopino did many, many works and many different results, but most, so a lot of the work is somehow with GAT assumptions, GAT kind of assumptions, with various GAT notions, I mean, there is a lot to be done. But somehow there is JT in the why JT? But because Cornell Barris, as you know, I mean, they wanted to study the moduli space of curves. And that moduli space, that very moduli space, was constructed using GAT. So it was natural to them to have the slope inequality using GAT. But somehow the case B and the case stable moduli space are not constructed using GAT. So because of this, we look at other tools like uh, other proofs. Okay, the other credit I have to give is to the Barge, especially the PhD thesis. He has a very, he has a very creative PhD thesis. And our first result is a very lot, a lot close to his PhD thesis. I mean, we, it was a lot of inspiration for us. Okay, cool. Take a break, save the page. I don't know what's the time, let me see the time. Any question? Ah, halfway, no, 20 minutes. We have just two parts of the talk left. Perfect, take Perfect. your time. Yeah. Still no questions. Still no questions, very bad. Very bad. Usually when I teach, I start these things that if there are no questions, I don't go ahead. I just stay silent until students ask me question. Which sometimes works, sometimes it doesn't. And we stay silent for hours. No, that's not true. For a few minutes. Okay, cool. Now, the next part is why stability implies positivity. So, if you put some stability assumption, then all the assumption, all the hypotheses we have in the above statement hold. I mean, with some difference, some flavor, some care to be taken off, but somehow. If you have stability, you get the you get the thing. So the case B stability is very easy actually. So we have x delta over t, the case B pair, case B family. Okay, it's not a general case B family. You have to assume x normal. There is this problem with normality, but somehow one can okay. handle it. And then if you take L to be kx over t plus delta. Then f lowest star of o x q l is left, and actually from this you can also easily and easily, and also l is left. This is very easy. But somehow this is very hard. So this is very hard. Case stability, case b stability implies this is a very hard result of Fujino, which I already mentioned, and so I want to repeat it. Because really this key assumption is gratis, it's for free in the case B stability case because of this deep result. And also the, the neftness of L. The case table, case, the final case is, 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 is completely different. Uh, I have a result actually, which is a joint with, with, uh, with uh, Jolt Patak Falvi. Patak Falvi and uh, Masiek is your name, is, is, uh, what is your name? Here we go with the surname. It's Danovich. We have a very nice result, which tell you that if you're in the final setting or log fun, if you prefer, and minus kx over t minus delta is an f, then f is locally et al. 
a isotria. So you want so so asking for the line, for the polarization to be nephi is very strong. So so you expect you expect you expect that minus k x over t minus let, let me drop the delta. It's not important now. And f lower star of o x minus k x over t are not nephi. So this bundle has, there are some horizontal curve, curve over which this is negative. So in com, just to be extremely concrete, if T is P1, you write F lower star of OX minus Q KX over T as a sum of OAI. And what is happening here is that some PI are negative. But now there is something Cool, which happens here because stability here bounds negativity. So we assume we assume some stability. We assume one fiber uniformly stable. You take uh, delta bar to be the minimum of the stability threshold, not the, the generic value, then the generic value, stability threshold. So it tells you how much you are stable, and this is at least one. And then you put L to be minus Kx over T, and then you twist it. You add something positive, which is delta bar, Delta bar minus one, volume and plus one, pull back of the CMLM bundle. So this is a multiple of a fiber. So you're adding a, a little bit of a fiber to, to this bundle, but you have a, um, you can control how much of a fiber you have to add. And then a theorem, which is it's myself and Jolt, Padak Falvi, and also also Shu Zhuang. So L is nef and F the west star of OX QL is nef. So you can apply your slope inequalities here with some care of course. But you have this number to, 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 uh, to play a role. This delta bar has to, uh, to play a role. So now instead, if, uh, if uh, the fiber are, are reduced uniformly stable, then you have to look at the paper of, of Shu and Zhuang on this subject, but uh, you can get, you get, uh, you get something similar, but, uh, but the issue is that you need to modify X. So what do I mean? What do I mean by this? Let me recap, recap this, that if you have, you have a final variety, so let me have a recap of this. Let me go ahead. These numbers are negative, this AI, these loops, this integer. You can bound this, if you have stability, you can bound this negativity because this become NEF. So if you twist that much, you can kill all the negative parts. If you are uniformly stable, if you are reduced and uniformly stable, which is somehow polystable, so you have automorphism, you cannot bound this negativity part. So the negativity part is unbounded. Okay, there are examples, but you can take a twist of the family. So you modify X in a clever way. I mean, it's something sensible and very precise and still you get the slope inequality. But you don't get the slope inequality on X itself, but on a twist of X. And this is made very precise in this paper. Okay. Cool. Cool. Last part, sketch on the proof. Any questions so far? Of proofs. I take my time. 
wait if there are some questions. There are not, it's the case. I still have my 10 minutes for the proof. Of course, it's a sketch. Proof of what? Proof of all the inequalities. I will not be precise because there is a lot of numeric into it. So to give a precise proof, I will have to do a lot of equations, which I guess you don't want to see on the on the screen. I don't want to write on the screen. And uh, and but I will do a sketch of the tools used here. And so now then adapted adapting these tools to the various setup, then you prove the various inequalities. So sketch of the proof. So let me call E the push forward of OX. Let me call EI the Arder Narasima filtration. And mu i the slopes of the filtration. Now, 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 if you take EI and you restrict it to F, this is a linear is a linear system inside H of F L restricted to F. Maybe you can assume L Cartier to, to avoid technicalities with some base locus. So some of the picture you have in mind, I have in mind usually, you might even assume L over F very ample, doesn't matter. So here is a very nice space with plenty of section. But then you have this linear subsystem here, which got smaller and smaller, and they do have a base locus. And you have to understand, so you want to study the base locus. So this space is independent of the family, but this one that really reads off the property of the family. So they are really important. So how do you study? You do the usual uh, things. So you blow up. So you make a blow up. And then over, the, I will not write the pullback just to avoid uh, the word things. So you write uh, this EI, it becomes some MI plus ZI. So that's the, let me call it maybe the relative movable part. Of course, I, I'm not writing down the pullback just to, to simplify the, the things. And this one, so it's NEF in particular, this one is the fixed locus. And they are increasing, of course. So uh, let me try MI is, 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 is smaller than MI plus one. And ZI is greater than Because the more you go low, the more the, 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 the fixed locus increase and the move of part decrease. Okay. And now the fact is this, that MI is NEF. Okay, maybe also, sorry, I want to write something, sorry, M, um, okay. Sorry, MI is NEF, but also MI minus mu I over fiber is NEF. So it's not only MI to be positive, but MI is mu I, you recall that mu I is, po is strictly positive as, as the bundle is NEF. Let me recall you that as 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 uh, this guy is nef, then mu i is is positive. So m i is nef, but you can also subtract that much of the fiber and still it stays nef. So it's not only positive, but it's mu i positive. So using this nefness and these positivities, so the key. So you have these two ingredient. This nefness here and this positivity here for every i, then is 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 customary to pose uh, pi to be just mi restricted to fiber f. And now what you get is something like this. Something like, and of course I don't remember it by heart. Ln plus one is greater or equal than this um for i to l of pi minus. I will ex comment, not explain, because it's self-explanatory. There's nothing to explain, but I will comment on this. 
n minus one times u i minus u i plus one. Okay. So that's the inequality you get. So how do you get? So what? So where does it come from? So the first instance of such inequality was Xiao to prove it. So Xiao, I think, was the first one to prove such inequality. Not this one, but a simpler one. Then if you go through the literature, you will find plenty of such results. This, I think, is in Hon, no, I think, I'm not sure. In our paper, we will have something more general than this, more, uh, there is something more general you can do. I am just writing this to, to give you a flavor of the results you get. But you get this, using, uh, using this, uh, these things. You get uh, L is the length of the other rational filtration. Now, the remark you want to make before explaining you how to conclude that this is guy is an intersection number. Intersection number on F. So this one depends just on the fiber. This PI depends on the family somehow, but then this number is computed on the fiber. And these are the slopes. Now, let me pull, pause, uh, let me maybe call it, I don't know, this number star. No, I don't want to put the, I will not give it a name. So it's an intersection number on F. Now, let me call RI to be the rank of this EI. So that's the H0 of the fiber with coefficient in PI. And there is a formula which is well known, which is the deg of F lower star of OXL. Again, I don't remember by heart is, uh, where is it? I wrote it down somewhere, it's here. You know, sum from E that goes to one to L of R mu I minus mu I plus one. This, this is easy. This formula is standard. So the, the strategy is that if you bound, so if you bound PI times LF M plus one in terms of if you RI and you work a lot, of course, and work, then you get the result. Because you see, this side of the inequality is fine because we have what to, we have to, we have to, we, are, we want to make uh, this guy appearing uh, here on the right hand side. How do we make it appear? We replace this intersection number by something which depends on Ri. And then we apply this formula. Of course, uh, according to what you do, you get different things, but somehow that's the strategy. Okay. So maybe, okay, let me go uh, down. No, ah, not the beginning, last, next, last page, last page. So we have this PI intersected with the LF to the M minus one. Recall that the PI are, 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 are decreasing. So I is inside the one L, where L is the length of the filtration. So then there exists a, a number P, an index P in one L, so that this is equal to, I mean, that's a triviality, LF to the N for I greater than P. And uh, is equal to this, and, and, and is strictly smaller than LF to the N if I is below. So for I very big, uh, this guy will be equal to this guy. And in this, in these things, you do you do something which I don't want to discuss. In this guy, you apply, you have um, you do we have something co which we call another type inequalities. So we have that. So this is an inequality on the fiber. So this is just on F. So we have PI, so it's for every PI that you can get. So it's very general. For every PI you can get, you have uh, something of the form. Something of the form. This is at least 
Ri minus one. So you see the Ri appearing and then you have a minus one and you have to fight a little bit and work, I mean, not a lot, but small. Now, or you prove another step inequality. Now proof, sketch of a proof, and then I finish off the talk. Sketch of proof is on induction, you do induction on uh, the dimension of F, which is N. So if N is equal to one, you have two cases. One LF is, is special. Special means, uh, and then so I pay my duties, H1 of F and F is non zero. And in this case, you apply Clifford, Clifford theorem, which tell you this, give you this inequality. Then LF is not special. Then H1 of F and F is zero. And now you have Riemann rock, which give you the reperfections. For N greater than one, you take a divisor D inside L, F in general. Recall that in the assumption at the beginning, LF has a lot of section. And then you apply, you restrict to D. And apply induction. Of course, there are induction. And this concludes the sketch of the proof and the talk. Thank you for the attention. So let's thank Julio. Does anyone have any questions? Well, let me see the, maybe the. I suppose if you stop recording. Oh, so there's a question by Lydia Stopino, who says. Yes, please. Um, is it possible to give an idea of how in your proof of the slope inequalities, the case stability assumption is used? Yes, it's, it's, it's just by the, um, I try to do it. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's this way. I mean, um, not so, so more, um, yes. Thank you for the question. Let me go ahead uh, before. So in these equalities here, let me go, these, all, all these bunch of inequalities and similar ones and their relatives, there are no stability assumption at all, neither KSB stability, nor K, nor K stability, nor JT stability, there is no stability assumption, but there is this very strong positivity assumption. Then I use K stability to cook up L and bundle L, which satisfy this positivity assumption. So K stability is used to cook up a line bundle L, which is, uh, which is the anti-canonical plus a convenient multiple of the fiber, which uh, because of the stability assumption satisfy this very strong positivity assumption. Does anyone have any other question? Okay, if not, let's just thank Julio again. Thank you very much. Thank you for a nice talk. And yeah, tomorrow is going to be the last of the, of the edge days. <laughs>